Insomniac Spider-Man is so powerful that he is thought to have an IQ generally around 250, a score that places him in the top 99.9th percentile with one of the highest IQs ever recorded for a human being. Spider-Man is known for his skills in the fields of engineering and biochemistry, but is exceptional when it comes to applied physics and specifically chemical engineering. This Spider-Man is said to be able to frequently lift up to 20,000 pounds or over 9,000 kilograms, and according to the vehicles used in the game, we see him easily catching and picking up around 4,000 pound or 1,800 kilogram Mercedes Benzes, Volkswagens, and even large trucks like a fully loaded Isuzu NPR that would then weigh near 13,500 kilograms or near 30,000 pounds. And at one point, we even see Peter pull up a Kensworth T800 truck used for carrying diesel fuel, chemicals, or milk out of the way of an oncoming train. That by US law at maximum capacity would weigh an estimated 36,000 kilograms or 80,000 pounds, but it could be less. In an epic scene, Spider-Man stops a 4,500 kilogram or 10,000 pound helicopter via swinging it like a yo-yo through the air, sending the helicopter's tail flying upwards with one arm and stopping the whole thing mid-fall. But far greater is we see him not only hold up the weight of multiple New York subway cars that weigh near 40,000 kilograms or 85,000 pounds when empty each, but we also see him stop a city tower crane from falling, momentarily holding up the entire thing minus the enormously heavy concrete base with the steel tower and additional attached components being so large that it had to be attached to the building itself, then weighing anywhere between a lowball 300,000 to a high end 600,000 pounds or 136 to 272,000 kilograms. As impressive as it is, it still doesn't compare to when Peter eventually has to save a load of helpless people on the Coney Island roller coaster, also known as the Cyclone, as he goes through a montage of repeatedly holding up the row of carts with one arm before also having to stop the massive Coney Island parachute from squishing him with the other. Looking at the city's specs and plans for this thing, the weight of each cart is said to be so tremendous that it allows the cyclone to both reach record-breaking speeds of 68 miles, being 110 kilometers an hour for a coaster, traveling on its own momentum after the first drop. Putting the weight of just one of these cars near 2,300 pounds or 1,040 kilograms, making Peter, who's holding up nine cars, then be lifting 20,700 pounds or 9,400 kilograms, who then proceeds to literally spider curl two five car sections, getting down to just one arm, with him then holding up 10,400 kilograms or 23,000 pounds, while at the same time holding back the parachute that weighs a colossal 154,000 kilograms or 3,400 pounds. This version of Spider-Man is so durable that getting outright bulldozed, tossed, or downright smacked through three feet or near one meter of concrete, including multiple large steel pipes, is a minor backbreaking inconvenience. Peter even even gets sucker punched by a colossal Sandman, who can and has been calculated to be nearly 150 meters or 500 feet tall. And thanks to sand being almost twice as dense as a human, this guy weighs something around 66 million kilograms or 145 and a half million pounds. That would easily splatter anyone like a hurled tomato. And after initially smacking Peter with what can be a surprising 35,000 to 40 thousand pound or 18,000 kilogram roof of a building, Sandman even attempts to crush Peter in his hand, with Spider-Man just staring back up at him more or less unharmed, causing Sandman to hurl him through the nearby building in a fit of annoyance, which makes all those previous hits from our 322 kilogram or 710 pound rhino or a massive raging lizard all the less impressive. With his enhanced speed and agility, Peter is noted to be around 15 times more agile than the average human. Specifically, his connective tissues are said to be over two times as elastic, adding not only to his immense strength, but serves to greatly increase his control over just how much strength he uses at any given time, allowing him to easily move at speeds ranging from 75 miles to some instances 200 miles or 320 kilometers an hour if he decides to push it. His endurance is increased to the point that he rarely gets tired. 
and with the aid of his spider sense, otherwise a literal psychic ability that both warns him of danger and its severity, in this case danger that is merely seconds away from happening, Spider-Man can easily time bullets, acid, bolts of lightning, and this Spider-Man is completely self-taught when it comes to fighting, parkour, and acrobatics, having no one but kung fu movies to teach him, where at this point he has heavily incorporated his spider sense into his own unique fighting style that has been honed over his last 10 years of being Spider-Man. Peter's ability to stick to walls is actually a form of what we can call biomagnetism, so more or less Peter has a mental control over his body's electrostatic reaction, or simply put, the attractive effect that his molecules now have to other objects, which doesn't just go for his hands and feet, but rather his entire body, as he can cling to walls with his back and has been known to attach entire people to himself to make saving them easier. But perhaps the best creation Spider-Man has ever made is none other than his web shooters, two technological marvels that not only require someone to exert an estimated 65 pounds of pressure per square inch with just their two fingers, which is impossible for most anyone to shoot, seeing how the entire human hand can just manage to get to 50 psi by itself. Looking at real spider webs, the web fluid itself has an overwhelming strength, around 120 pounds or nearly 55 kilograms per square millimeter. That takes about an hour to dissolve for anyone trapped inside it, especially if he webs you in the face, making this web fluid pretty much the strongest adhesive in the world, being twice as strong as steel. But as powerful as Insomniac Spider-Man is, he does have a major weakness and limitation. Unlike my love of biology and absurdly large numbers, Spider-Man is horribly vulnerable to ethyl chloride, the same flammable chemical compound that is used as a local anesthetic and can be found in all conventional bug sprays made for killing pets and spider menaces alike, with even inhaling amounts of the stuff draining him of his spider powers and larger amounts killing him, and while being incredibly resistant to blunt force trauma, as we see when Kraven stabs Peter, he is surprisingly penetrable to sharp weapons, with only the alien symbiote saving him from an otherwise fatal wound. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. Between all the beatings Peter takes in the series so far, he does have a superhuman metabolism. That, if it's anything like other characters we've gone over, is something like 25 to 30 times that of a regular human. One that allows him to recover from pretty much any injury he sustains, be it a Sinister Six beatdown, flying venom, or collapsing fridge, he heals off these injuries literally overnight. And if you wanted to see how strong anti-venom Spider-Man is, or how other characters Characters compare, then check out these videos right here. See you in the next one.